Hi everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am. So if you love a recipe video like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you how to make my delicious aubergine and pork burgers. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you how to make my delicious aubergine and pork burgers. Now this recipe is really easy to do and I thought as summer is on the way, people might be looking for more burger recipe inspiration and this one is a delicious burger, I have to say. I love aubergine. My husband and son aren't so keen, but I really enjoy the taste of aubergine. So I'm always trying to think of new ways to use it in our meals and ways that my husband and son wouldn't necessarily realize it was in there. And this was a brilliant one, I have to say. They didn't know that there was aubergine in the burger when they first had these. Um, they did ask what was in there and I said aubergine and they said it didn't taste like it at all. So if you're not a lover of aubergine but you want to try something different, this is definitely the recipe for you. I love it, my husband and son love it, it's been tried and tested, we're going to be having it for our dinner this evening and of course while I was making it I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious aubergine and pork burgers. For this recipe you will need to roast and blend one aubergine. So to start the process I preheated my oven to about 200 degrees and then I peeled, sliced and diced an aubergine. So I diced the aubergine into about one inch pieces and then once my oven was preheated I put the aubergine into a baking tray and I drizzled over some olive oil and added a little bit of salt to that as well. And then I put the aubergine into the oven for about 30 minutes or until it goes golden brown. And then once the aubergine was a lovely golden brown colour, I removed it from the oven and I left it to cool. And while it was cooling, I prepared my blender. So I got my blender ready and when it was cool enough to touch, I then put the aubergine pieces into the blender and I blended them with some olive oil. I think I probably used about 20 mils or so of olive oil, but you can judge it as you go. So if you need to add a little bit more olive oil, then please do. And then once it was blended, I just put it into this bowl and now I'm going to add this to my pork. So I'm making these burgers as if it serves four. Um, I will probably only cook three tonight and then I will have one tomorrow for my lunch or for like a snack tea in the evening. So I've got about 500 grams of minced pork in this bowl or ground pork, I think they call it in America. And to that I'm going to add about four heaped tablespoons of almond flour or you can use ground almonds as well if you want to. And then I'm going to also add a teaspoon of ginger to this as well, like so. And then I've got some mild chilli powder here and I'm going to add another teaspoon of mild chilli powder. You can use medium or you could use hot if you wanted these to be a bit spicier. And then I'm also going to add a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Just let me get that out of the jar, like so. And smoked paprika adds a lovely smokiness to this as well. And then I'm going to add a little bit, like half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, just to give it a little bit of extra sweetness. And then I've got some salt and pepper here. Salt and pepper to your taste. If you don't want to add it, then you don't have to. But I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to season the meat and a little bit of pepper as well. So I'll probably just add a small amount. We like spice in this house, but we don't like too much. My son Ted isn't the biggest fan, but he's getting better at it. So we're getting him used to a bit more spicy food. And then I'm gonna add in my blended uh, aubergine as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dampen my hands and I'm gonna mix all of these ingredients together. So I've dampened my hands and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrunch all of these ingredients together 
And the reason I damp my hands is simply because hopefully a lot of the mixture won't get stuck to my hands. So it makes it easier for me to scrunch everything together and leave lots of the mixture in the bowl, if you see what I mean. So they're all mixed together beautifully now. And I'm just going to go and dampen my hands once again. And then I shall come and divide that up into burgers. Now I'm going to divide the mixture into four. So I'm going to make four burgers from this mix. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squash the burgers in my hands like so. And then I'm going to put them on the plate. But to make sure that they stay fairly flat, I'm going to just put a dimple in the middle of the burger and that will help them to stay flat. Um, I looked this up online to see how I could keep a burger from uh, not going up in the middle and that's apparently how you do it and I've tried it a lot of times and it does work I have to say. So I'll just show you again, I'm going to flatten the burger in my hands like so and then once it's on the plate I'm just going to put a dimple in the middle. So I'm going to continue now until I've used up all of the mixture. That's the burgers done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these into the fridge for a good couple of hours before I cook them off this evening in the oven. And the reason I'm putting them in the fridge is simply because um, it will make the burgers go really cold so that when I put them onto a hot baking tray later, it'll help the fat and it will make the burgers really juicy. So I'm off to put these in the fridge now. It's almost dinner time, so I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees. And I'm also going to put my baking tray into the oven as well. I've transferred the burgers to my baking tray. My oven has preheated and now I'm going to pop them in for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the juices run clear from the burgers. Burgers have cooked, the juices have run clear, so I'm going to serve up and we're going to eat dinner. That's how you make my delicious aubergine and pork burgers and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be having these for our dinner this evening and they smell so good I can't wait so for now that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye